Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again today. I'm going to be talking about my teeth today with you guys. I wanted to share my experience with getting a gingivectomy done. If you don't know what a gingivectomy is, I will list the WebMD description or Google definition, but basically it is a procedure that corrects a gummy smile. And a gummy smile can be, you know, it varies from person to person. For me, um, when I used to smile, I saw mainly gums. My teeth are, were smaller on the smaller side, like chiclet teeth, if you if you want to call them that. And you could see gums more to me than my teeth, and it always used to bother me. So, if you want to hear my experience on getting a gingivectomy done and see kind of what I'm doing to maintain my smile these days, then please keep watching. So I had the gingivectomy done about a month ago, maybe a little bit more than a month ago. And like I said, it's something that had plagued me for a long time. And, you know, I kind of want to address that it wasn't that I you know, thought I was ugly or anything like that. It's just something that I was insecure about and I really didn't know that they fixed it. I thought it was just something you dealt with and that was that. So um, when I researched it and found out that there is a procedure that can, you know, potentially make your smile look better, I was like, sign me up, you know? So I did some research on it. I looked at some before and afters and I'm like, oh my God, you know, it blows me away that they can even do something like that. So I looked around my area for local um, dentists that do it. I found one, I went for the consultation. He told me what he could do, you know, told me the price and I set up, you know, the date. I actually had went to two consultations because the first time I went, I was anticipating being able to get it done and then I couldn't get it done. So when I called back, they said they would want to see me again before they do it just to make sure, you know, nothing had changed. And I did have to have x-rays done because they have to actually see how much, you know, um, how much actual tooth is up under there that they can expose because they don't want to hit, you know, the root or the bone and can cause, like, serious damage. So I had that done. He said he could do, like, a pencil, a pencil tip worth of um, lift, you know, like he would be able to cut up. And it kind of doesn't sound like a lot, but if you put a pencil tip up to your tooth, it's, it's a good amount. So, um... I went in for the, you know, on the day of my procedure, went in and I would say the most uncomfortable part of the entire thing, which it only took like a half an hour, the most uncomfortable part was actually getting me numb because they had to put needles into my gums and that just, <laughs> it, it like, it wasn't like, okay, so I think I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. So it wasn't like, it was like a five on a scale of 10, but, and it was quick because they put the needle in, they put the the, uh, you know, whatever the numbing agent and they numbed my gums topically first before they even went in with the needle. So I was like getting numb as the needle was going in so I could feel it, but it didn't hurt, hurt, if you get what I'm saying. And then I was completely numb. I felt nothing. Um, I could feel the like vibration from the laser, you know, cutting up on my gum and I could feel it like separating the gum, but I didn't feel pain behind it. And I could smell the skin like burning from the laser, which is pretty disgusting. But yeah, they just put the thing, you know, to open up your mouth real wide and he gets in there and he was done in a half an hour. And I'm going to insert some clips right here from Snapchat that I recorded that day. Kind of talking about what I went through and I was still really, really numb. So I just had a gingivectomy done. I can't really show you guys because it's 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 pretty uh gory in here and obviously my mouth is very numb like i can't feel any of oh it's coming back it's tingling but this is very it's still very numb and i'm bleeding so they said that it takes about two to four weeks to fully heal before like the gums aren't red and swollen anymore so i'm really excited to see how it looks when it heals i'm bleeding pretty bad right now so i'm gonna go fill this prescription for these drugs. So as you can see, like it, I bled for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour, like, you know, bled, bled, where I had to like keep um, patting it and, you know, taking the blood off. But then 
the bleeding stopped and now it's just red and really swollen and sore after that. And that lasted for a good, I would say a good two weeks. I was pretty, pretty sore to the point where I couldn't brush up against my gums. I kind of just took the toothbrush and like hit the bottoms. And then I would take like the little bit of toothpaste on my finger and just kind of like massage really, really, really gently up against the gums. And um, they only did these four teeth in the front right here. Um, Cause as you can see, this tooth here is pretty good. And then so is this one. So he didn't want to cut if it didn't need it. Basically the worst part was these two front ones. And I still have this little piece of whatever this is right here, which he said a phrenectomy is the procedure to get that out. And my insurance potentially would pay for it. I paid out of pocket for the gingivectomy. So I didn't deal with my insurance company at all because I knew that they wouldn't pay for it. It's considered a cosmetic procedure. It is not medically necessary. Um, there's no, there's nothing you can tell them to try to convince them that you need your gums cut. They don't, they're not going to hear it. Trust me. And some um, orthodontists I know will do it like after removal of braces, which I had braces in like the eighth grade. Um, but I didn't think, and I'm sure my parents didn't think to tell them to do that. And then obviously the orthodontist didn't do it. So I had this gummy smile forever. And like I said, it was something that has always been a cause of insecurity for me. I always would smile like, you know, and if I did full on teeth exposed smile, I would look at the pictures and I would hate them because there was sometimes where I would smile just enough and open my mouth just enough that all you could see was the gums. I hated that. Or I, you know, cause you see, you magnify your own flaws way more than other people do. So when I would look at the picture, I'd be like, all I see is freaking gums. I look like Mr. Ed. So I hated it. So I fixed it. And to, I'm saying that to say this, we are in control of all of this stuff now. So if there's something bothering you and you have the money and the means to fix it, go do it because if it's gonna add to the quality of your life and it's gonna add to how you see yourself and how you carry yourself, go do it. So that's what I did. I am 100% happy with my smile, with the appearance of my teeth. I have never felt this way about my smile and I will insert some before and after pictures. People are like, oh, we didn't even notice and that's fine. I'm not saying again that I felt like I was ugly. It was just an insecurity thing and Maybe people didn't notice, maybe they did. I noticed it like crazy and that is what mattered. It did not, I did not like it. So that being said, I was sent this kit here by Smile Sciences, which is a teeth whitening kit. They're on Instagram, I'll link their information below. And I actually wasn't going to do this. I had another one that I was gonna work with because I don't want to be that person that just takes every opportunity that's given to them just to make videos, just to have content, just to, you know, have something to post on Instagram because some of the stuff I'm just not interested in. Um, the teeth whitening thing though, I was like, cool, this I can rock with because I have been looking to do, to use something to whiten my teeth. So I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. And then I'm also going to give you a discount code in the description box below where you can get this same kit at like an amazingly discounted price. Now I will say this, I'm going to be doing some follow-up videos to show you my results. So if you want to wait and see what kind of results I get, but you can see on their Instagram, it really works. And I'm not going to, you know, I mean, I'm telling you this from not using it. I'm like kind of just in the same boat as you. I'm just kind of going off of other people's results. But every so far, everybody that used it that I've looked at has had amazing results. Their teeth look amazing. So in the kit, you get the trays. For your teeth which you do have to um, put in hot water and then mold them so they you know they are this the same shape as your teeth then you have the whitening syringe which I believe this comes in different flavors I think I got the mint flavor and then you also have this teeth whitening pen some q-tips and then my ultimate the selling point for me was this light so that's the light so you put that in there after you have the trays and the whitening gel in the trays, you put this in here, I believe 30 minutes and you're done. So I'm gonna be starting that today. Check my Snapchat for updates on that daily and then I'll do probably like a two week update on my teeth and you know where I'm at as far as 
the whitening and all that is concerned. So I think I covered everything. Oh, the price of the gingivectomy was $790. And that's going to vary by where you live, what orthodontist or dentist you go to see. Some of them charge per tooth. Some of them charge a flat rate. It really is going to vary. You definitely, definitely need to go have a consultation and they will give you the price. And the price that I paid this time was actually more expensive than when I had gotten quoted at my very first consultation. They had quoted me like five something. So um, I don't know. I She said the prices fluctuate based on the season and all this other stuff. Whatever. It was around income tax time and I was able to get it done. And I don't regret any of it. So yes, yeah, $7.90 for the gingivectomy. I don't think they are more than $1,000, but like I said, it's gonna vary on where you're at, who you go to see, probably how often they do them. Some dentists don't ever do them and some do them a lot. And um, like when I went to this one, they were like, you don't need it. And I was like, you must not want this money because <laughs> don't tell me that I don't need it. Like I'm here for a service, provide the service and shut up, thanks. So anyway, that's all I have to say about this, the uh, gingivectomy. I love my smile now I'm super excited to just be like mm, and all my pictures you know and it's funny because I'm so used to not smiling that when I do smile now I feel mad awkward like you know but I'll get used to it eventually I'm sure thank you guys for all the love on the last video and I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next one please 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 hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys later bye